All right, hey, give up sooner by boot.dev. By the way, if you don't know, this is technically sponsored. It's sponsored by me because I am now writing courses for boot.dev, boot.dev slash prime, boot.dev slash prime. Support me, support yourself, become a better developer. Snap. That was a great that was a great ad read, by the way. Okay, Lane wrote this for me to read because he was like, yo, yo, this is your chance. Let's do this. What's the link? Boot.dev slash prime. Boot.dev slash prime. All right. As a develop, let's see, as a developer, how many times each day do you look at something or do you look something up online? I'm not talking about simple piece of syntax. I'm talking about things that are a bit harder to find. For example, is there a good way to compile C to WebAssembly and run it in a browser without needing to modify code itself? Can the Stripe UI export promotion code redemptions as a CSV? Is there a good tool for hot module reloading in Go? Is it socially acceptable to go out in public in South Dakota with blue hair? Okay, I lost a bet and I have blue hair and I live in South Dakota. This article has been personally written to offend me. I did not know that this was a thing. Lane! Gosh dang Lane. Coming at me like that. While we're... Dude, that's... It's not socially acceptable for those that are wondering. While working as a team lead a few years ago, I remember asking Jeffy, a developer on my team, is there a way to get SQLC to use pointers for nullable columns instead of SQL.null types? Jeffy went heads down for much longer than I would have expected. After more than a full day of research, he came back, no, there isn't a way. I found something that seemed promising, but it doesn't work. I think I should fork the project and add it ourselves. I know this is shots fired, by the way. Interesting. Interesting. Now, hold up. I'd hold up. Hold up. I've got some questions. First, you're telling me that you found what we want in an API of a well-known open source project, but it's broken and no one else knows what, that it is broken but you? You are confident there aren't any skill issues involved. There's a lot. Of the, I would assume there's skill issues involved. Second, you're telling me that you recommend course of action is for your team of four to fork a project with many thousands of lines of code and maintain our own version ad infinitum? Uh, by the way, love the ad infinite. That's one of my favorite phrases of all time. Uh, all for a little quality of life improvement. Zoom it out a little bit so we can just see this. And do you think a little type safe squeal is supposed to make me happy? It's not. Also, Prince, uh, The Princess Bride is just like, it's one of the best movies of all time. All right. No, Jeffy. No. Yeah, you, call, you call that a mustache, sir? Uh, what was, uh, what was Jeffy's problem? Counterintuitively, I believe Jeffy's problem was that he didn't know when to give up. I don't mean on the task as a whole. I mean on each individual path he, uh, he was taking to find the answer. Here's a chart. Jeffy, solution. Jeffy was too attached to his initial searching methods. Maybe he was too attracted to one page from the docs, uh, to his initial search query, or to Google as a search mechanism altogether. Jeffy found a local maximum and became stuck. He should have bailed so much sooner and tried looking elsewhere. Dude, this is, a, this is an amazing advice, by the way. This is advice I need to hear even regularly. Like learning when to slow down and rethink, dude, it's so easy to fall into this. If you're, if, if you're building things actively, you fall into this continuously. Local max is the best metaphor I've heard. Yeah. If I don't find good evidence that the answer I'm looking for exists in the place I'm searching, I'm bailing pronto. That doesn't mean I'm 100% certain it doesn't exist, but you usually don't have to read an entire stack overflow thread to know whether or not it relates to your problem. Fair. Fair. Je suis Jeffy. I'm honestly amazed at, at how some developers take so long to look stuff up. Now, in their defense, if you're even an efficient searcher, you can still get stuck in a quagmire, a local maxima. Uh, if you're not careful, you can find yourself reading on and on about a topic that seems like exactly what you're looking for, only for it to skim over the details that you actually need. Bummer. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm a big fan of using AI as a replacement for some uh, of my would-be Google searches, but ChatGPT is the ultimate quagmire. That is the ultimate local maximum. It's the worst kind of quagmire because at every step, it confidently reassures you that it does in fact know the answer. When you insist that it's wrong, it confidently continues to provide information that it sounds correct, but it isn't. It is, th that, is a qu that, that is a quagmire. I love the term quagmire, by the way. I love, I love this. Uh, if you use chat GPT or chat GPT, sorry, sorry, my bad on that one. Uh, for programming assistance, uh, you need to develop a strong sense of when chat GPT is making stuff up. In short, you need to know when to bail. 
Read the friendly manual. Sometimes we talk about Googling things, a skill onto itself, and it kind of is. But similar to ChatGPT, it's less about formulating the most pristine search query. It's more about knowing when to give up on a goose chase. Does the SERP indicate that your original search query was a good one? No, bail. Does the first page uh, you visit have directly relevant title or first paragraph? No, bail. After spending another minute on the page, are you convinced the answer is somewhere below? No, bail. It is likely that the answer can be found more easily in the docs, the user manual, or GASP, the code itself. Yes, bail. I actually do like looking at code as a means to understand what's happening. I actually do like this. I think it's a really good way to kind of understand some things. Uh, reading the manual, uh, perusing the official docs, and digging through the source code usually takes longer than skimming an on-topic article or tutor- tutorial, but SEO-spammed articles often coalesce into an entire sea of local maxima. Uh, they tease you by scratching the surface of what you're looking for, but if, you, but if your issue isn't the most common one, you can waste hours trudging through garbage. Sometimes, taking the time to go deep... Into the topic is the fastest, only way to find answers to a more esoteric questions. Damn. Damn, Lane. This is a good article. Lane, this is a good article, Lane. Lane, this is a good article. Hey, retire in progress. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Are you doing good? Back to Jeffy. I don't want to leave you hanging on this story. As it turned out, the documentation for SQLC was complete, but it was tricky to understand how to use pointers for nullable columns if you landed on the wrong page. There are a lot of configuration options for SQLC, and it it is easy to get lost. I cloned the repo, grepped for pointer, found the code that parsed the configuration option. It was clear after a few minutes of reading the source that we just needed to do three things. Specify the go type we want, string instead of a a null string. Set uh, nullable to true. Set pointer to true. Here's the code. Sometimes you got to read the friendly manual. Sometimes you got to suck it up and grep the code. By the way, SQLC is awesome, and if you like Go, you should be aware of it. I've been using SQLX. Um, This is great, though. Sometimes you got to suck it up and grep the code. This is great. This is great advice right here. This is... I don't even know how to describe... This, This whole article is just one great piece of advice through and through. By the way, this is why I love boot.dev, Okay. If you're wondering where the love comes from, hopefully you understand, okay? The name, not biased at all. I'm not biased at all. I'm just saying I'm not biased, okay? My name is not the biased agent, okay? It's clearly objective love for boot.dev, and and it just happens to, to, to align with you getting better at backend development and me getting paid for that, okay? So just saying, that's real. Hashtag ad, hashtag suck it, hashtag boot.dev slash... Prime again.